Welcome to the HFT Stocks and Options Commentary. I'm Pablo Navarro. Today is Wednesday, July 10, 2013. For the volatility index, the dollar-weighted put call ratio on the VIX, we have a bullish reading on July with 36% of the total premiums paid. August and September neutral readings with 40 and 12% of the total premiums paid. Overall, we have a neutral dollar-weighted put call ratio on the VIX today. On the charts here, we have the daily chart for SPX. You can see here, we were flat today. Nothing happening. Um, very tight range today. As you can see here, we went higher and then we sold off quite a bit in, after uh, the minutes, making new lows. And then we just bounced here to the neutral. I remain uh, very skeptical, as you know, of this rally. I believe we're going to test the 1600 again very soon. And that's my position here so far. For the Qs, interesting day here, the Qs outer performing the S&P up 0.6%, let's call that, and uh, almost getting here to this previous high of 73.72, so that's interesting, that's going to be, that's going to act as resistance up there, neutral here on the Qs, I am bearish on S&P and on, on WM. As I've mentioned before, uh, the reason is here, WM, I believe it has gone a little bit uh, ahead of itself, making new highs for the last three days in a row. Also, while the S&P is still down by uh, quite a bit from its all-time high. Also, volume is not confirming the move higher. We were up, let's call it 0.3% today. I'm looking for 96, 97 as our first target on the downside eventually go and test 95 level so that's here what i'm looking for iwm on gld we have a pop today uh after the minutes we went up as high as uh, almost one and a half percent for the day then we sold off quite a bit you can see here this formation and uh volume was good today uh i believe this is a good place to short but the risk reward is not gonna be there the reason is I believe we have room to go at least uh, to 125 and I'm looking for 114 to the target so you're risking about 4 bucks to make about 7 so not quite the best risk reward out there but um, quite attractive. Uh, I am bearish on the metals but no position so far. On silver pretty much the same explanation that on gold. It lagged here uh, down almost half of a percent. I believe we're going to 16, 17 first, of course. And, uh, but again, I'm not shorting at this level. So I would like to see around 20 to get short silver. I'm more inclined to trade the gold instead of silver right now to the downside. Going to stocks. Here we have the daily chart for Apple. We closed above the 420 level again, important level here down 0.4% uh, for the day, not much happening. Again, I would want to see what happens when we get to this 50 day. Are we going to be able to hold? Are we going to be able to break that level? Or are we going to go back lower from there? So pretty neutral here. I believe we will get to that um, 50 day moving average and we'll have to see what happens from there. Google. Here we have the daily chart for Google up 0 0.8, 0 0.08, basically flat for the day. As we've mentioned, uh, put a stop around uh, 8.95. Today low was 900, so if you were on the trade, you would still be up there. I continue to think we could go higher, but I would move my stop around on 8.96, 8.97 to continue to get some profit while we go higher. We have JP Morgan Friday uh, earnings. I'm bearish on the bank here. I believe we're going lower. 52 is my target. Uh, let's call that 53, 52 is going to be the range. I believe it's not going to be a good quarter for basically for no one. Uh, that's not was the best economy, the best quarter for the economy. Also, banks have been um, enjoying a lot of um, free money, but the growth on the loans have not been the best last quarter. So I believe they're going to miss, and I'm looking for 52.